Welcome to my store. Once you've got your culture container, and you see it's actually got a good green tinge to it already. Yeah. Um, all we're going to do is just to add an airline to it off your off a pump. As far as aeration levels, you you want enough air to going through it. You don't want enough to skim it. Um, some so people, you don't want the foam on top. You don't want the foam on top. A rolling boil um, is what you're sort of looking for. Um, don't use air stones because air stones produce too much, too fine of a bubble. Yeah. You want 316th inch tubing, not your standard airline tubing is more than adequate. Um, it's cut at a straight across the top. You can put it on a 45 if you want. Um, it's more preference than anything else. We haven't really noticed any world difference uh, either way. Okay. Um, and that's sort of the the level of sort of bubbling that you're looking at. A good rolling boil. Uh, that way everything everything moving fast, yeah. nothing sitting in the center. Exactly. Bones stinky. People have asked, you know, for uh, obviously it, it is a plant. Uh, part of photosynthesis, photosynthesis it needs light, um, and it needs carbon dioxide. Yeah. Um, there is plenty of carbon dioxide in the ambient air by just bubbling through the, the algae will take off. Yeah. Um, if you really want the dense, dense cultures, you absolutely are looking at injecting CO2s into it. So you get the same CO2 diffuser you use in a plant in the for home setups, you know, honestly, it's not uh, it's not needed. Um, the, the what difference would it make? A you, day, two days? You, you can speed it up uh, uh, quite significantly. If you've got a 24/7 light uh, on your uh, phyto plankton and you're putting uh, CO2 into the, the system, you add enough nutrients, um, you can actually grow cultures very very quickly. It will actually double, in some cases, every you know, hours instead of days. Uh, so. The last step is here is now that we've got the, the algae in from the disc, we've got the uh, the airline going on a standard two liter pop bottle. The we recommend two milliliters of the F2, um, and that's enough fertilizer to get this thing going um, and sustain uh, until it's ready to harvest. So the very first time you're looking, it'll probably take two weeks uh, to get a, your, your typical two liter pop bottle from disc. To the, the first harvest, okay. and then from there, all you're doing is dividing. So you're going to take half of your two-liter pop bottles or a liter, dump it into another uh, pop bottle, top it off in salt water, add another two milliliters of uh, two fertilizer, and airline, put it back under the light. This time, you've now half your uh, your growth period. You should see getting uh, pretty much to harvest within seven to seven days, maybe a little over a week, depending on the condition. What happens if you use, say, half strength uh, fertilizer? You use one uh, milliliter of fertilizer to two liters of water. Um, the the it basically the nutrients in the water. Um, so the, the plant needs nutrients to, to grow. Um, at some point, it's going to run out of nutrients, um, and then it'll begin to crash. Um, we do recommend for those that are growing at home, you know, put your one mil, your two mils, whatever you're, you want to grow at, and actually let one crash on it because you'll you'll actually see it sort of peak. You see it nice and green and then you'll start seeing it not really getting any greener. And then normally within 24 to 48 hours it'll always go clear because it's completely run out of nutrients, it has nothing to be on, and it goes more into a mass death. And what happens if you use twice as much as you need? You end up adding more fertilizer into your aquarium uh, uh, after the fact. So basically the, the, the two mils per pop bottle is sort of the the, the scientific, if you, if you will, uh, maximum of what we've worked out to, to make sure that at that two week period, the amount of actual nutrients in the, the water of the, the aquaculture um, is as minimal as possible. So when you do start feeding it into your tank, you're not adding additional uh, nitrates uh, into your system, which then produces algae blooms in your aquarium. So you want to harvest this at its peak um, with no nutrients left, almost on the verge of a crash. Um, before you uh, add it in your aquarium just to minimize all that, the nutrients in your uh, okay. system. Say you uh, culture up 10 bottles, mm -hmm. but you only need one bottle a day. What do you do with those bottles to keep them from crashing before you use them? If you put them in the fridge, it slows sort of metabolic rates, so everything right now. Uh, you have to take them out and shake them, uh, take the tops off, anything, just leave them in the fridge? Just leave, leave, leave them in the fridge. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't seal them up uh, too much. Um, some air exchange is nice. Uh, but if you're going away for a two-week, three-week vacation, or you're out of town, 
um, and just take your culture and throw it in the fridge. Um, it will settle out. Um, the nano process is actually very, very resilient. Um, if you have an opportunity to, to give it a shake here and there just to keep it in suspension, um, that's the preferred just because the more it sort of clumps together, um, it tends to die a little quicker. Because it's not getting it's not new getting, nutrients, yeah, it's new not getting high CO2 and stuff like that. Right. Uh, but outside of that, it will survive weeks uh, in the, the refrigerator and then you come back, come back home, you get it back up to room temperature and you uh, give it a little kick of new nutrients and away you go. Say you were going away for a month and a half. Yep. Put it in the fridge, put an air stone in the, like an airline in it, put an air pump in your fridge and run the line, would that keep it going? You you probably could. Um, the wife might kill you? It, 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 might, it might kill it. Um, in, in all honesty, the, the I, I've used it myself. Uh, I just heavily dosed nutrients into you know, a backup culture vessel just to make sure that it has more than enough nutrients. It will only get dark you know, or dense uh, as the light can penetrate, um, and you will end up with some sort of dead floating bits in the, uh, the culture vessel, but when you return, you run it through a strainer, um, basically take out all the, uh, uh, the stuff that's died over the course. It's still very viable because you've left it with lots of nutrients to feed on, um, and then you start again.